while we're getting set up, but I just figured uh, if anybody has any questions, to my brain about auditions, um, what I like to eat. <laughs> um, or if not, you can just, uh, can just talk a little bit more about auditions or whatever, what it's like to win, you know, to, 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 to do the job after you win the job. What's that, Mark? I was going to ask what your routine was uh, as far as when you went to arrive at auditions uh, the day of, the day before, how much do you like to sleep, do you have a routine that you do yeah. leading up to the audition? Yeah, um, I try to, uh, you know, they, they say that you, your, your body works on a two day delay of sleep, so at least, and that kind of works out well for audition because usually the night before an audition I don't sleep very well. So the night before the night before the audition, I try to make sure I don't uh, stay up too late or anything, and I uh, try, to, try to get a good, uh, if I can sleep in, definitely sleep in, just get, uh, that's kind of a good rule for me anyway, uh, all the time. But, uh, uh, but as far as, the, yeah, the, the day before the audition, usually when you're traveling, unless you have the luxury of being able to get there and the money to stay in a hotel or whatever it is, uh, to stay an extra night, two nights before, um, you're traveling. Uh, so and we, that works out well for me because I'll try to, the week before the audition, I'll kind of taper off my really intense pounding of the excerpts uh, so that my embouchure is fresh. And, and so the day before I try to, if anything, maybe I warm up before I go to the airport. And then if, when I get to the hotel, depending if it's not too late or whatever, I might warm up a little bit, not really, just fight the urge to play through all those excerpts because it's really hard not to. It's really hard not to play, you know, like, oh, I need to make sure I play, because at that point, you are where you are. You're going to play how you're going to play at that point, so there's no real last minute cramming going on. Um, <clears throat> so another thing I like to do is on the, on the plane, if it's a long plane or train ride or whatever, I like to go through the music, and I do this beforehand as well, but the mental practice, hearing the excerpts, and that's something um, I can talk with you guys about. Hearing the excerpts as, as exactly the way you want them to go. And uh, you'd be surprised if you don't do this already, you'd be surprised that maybe, like for tuba, if it's beat low, you know, you da 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 and you hear that in your head, there's no reason for your brain to miss the note. Your brain's <laughs> like, you should be able to ba la la uh, it should be easy, right? So the more, and, and, and when you do this, not, uh, I like to do it without breathing the excerpt, meaning I'm not going, I'm literally just hearing it in here. Maybe I have a metronome going, but, uh, but I try to be as relaxed as possible. And what that does for me is it translates being as relaxed, because you're relaxed, you're sitting on the plane, maybe you're kind of dozing off, and I've actually had, um, the times where I've been kind of going through, like, say, Meister Singer, I see you doing the Meister Singer. So, you, know, you get that day, da 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 dee, da da da, da, da and I'm singing it over and over my head, and it's kind of been a little bit like, wait, have I gone through that? Is it the second time or the first time? <laughs> it just keeps going on. But I'm nice and relaxed, and that, that translates. When you pick up the horn, your brain remembers that. That you okay, this is that thing you do. I'm just exerting a little bit more, you know, physical. Uh, force, but uh, but I'll be a little bit more relaxed. So that's 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 kind of typical thing that I do. Yeah. So are you going to start with my Singer? Uh, yeah. For the interest of time, I'm going to do two excerpts. I'm going to do uh, the solo part of my Singer, and then um, the second excerpt of my Held and Laban. Okay. Okay. How, how are we doing on time, by the way? Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, may I play a few notes first? Sure, sure. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I do think off beats. Boom, 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 boom. What it does is it helps those quarter notes. There's a tendency, is it's a tendency to go boom, 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 boom. It's easy to follow, you know, to fall ahead a little bit. So, um, you know, it, as comfortable or not you, you are with that, the more you do something like that, it kind of gets you in the in the groove. And it also, it kind of gives them a little bit more. To listen to, to the, the committee might actually pick up on that, that kind of group. You know, you're not you're not you're not swinging it or anything, but but uh, little intangible things like that, that that are you know maybe a little bit psychically transmitted. Um, so if you can now, when you come in on this first note, boom, 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 boom. If you can try to make it sound, this is just a simple little tune I'm going to play for you right now. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Can you just play that for me? Just okay. those four notes. One second. Sure. Do that one more time. That was much better. We just do um, bom, 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 just that. Bom, bom. And then the first note it just feels like the, the rush of air coming out. It's just a little bit too much. So it's just oh. bom, 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 bom. too much air um, pushing the first of air. air yeah that's what I thought okay cool um, now when you get to the legato section you got to be as <clears throat> legato as, as very the point is I'll just use this one okay um, so <clears throat> I haven't played before in a long time <laughs> I don't want to see spasms if I play that So the, the, the first part of this solo is molto marcato, molto marcato, and then you get to the second half, it's uh, molto legato. Um, so it, you know, it's, it, by no, there's no by no accident that this is the most popular um, tuba audition piece because it catches so many different uh, different things. Um, you know, the, the rhythm, pitch, uh, playing, being able to play a tune, um, and then the differences between marcato and legato. Um, now, when you get to that, that other section, now there's the, the trick of breathing. Um, so I noticed that you you pushed it to try not not breathe too much in the, once you got to the like, legato section. Mm -hmm. But you can breathe pretty much anywhere if you know how to disguise your breaths. So let me just show you the way I, I would do it. Mm -hmm. Practice doing this in a way that um, you know, like we were talking with the ride with Zay earlier. Um, the, the playing those eighth notes. As 
quickly as possible. Um, that, that's one good, good trick to have. And if you're breathing with your mouth and your nose, um, or just your nose at times. Uh, but, uh, but when you're taking in a quick breath, if you have time, make sure you're breathing in with your nose and your mouth. I don't know if you've thought about that before very much. Yeah, so what would you think more about that? Yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's a real challenge. Why don't we try that in the battle section? Think of a dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note, or a double dotted eighth note um, with a thirty-second note going. And what 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 you realize when you do that is is your stomach is always split. It, it's just a split second that you that you breathe in. Can you just try that for me? Just so. Um, I'll give you four beats. Two, three. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. You, and, and just work on that, with the, even with the metronome. You know, you can just start to make it sound. You do dotted quarter eighth of right? And then just progressively make it faster. And, uh, and then that's going to help you in this where you need to play them as far as you can and then sneak that breath uh, and try to make it not sound obvious that, that you're breathing. Um, that, sounds, that sounds good. You get such a really nice sound out of it. 